is help me tips and sips time in my new location because if you follow me you know what's going on i'm having a new location because i have a new sip when you got a new sip you get a new location i don't know why but we're gonna do it we're gonna work it out we're gonna do exactly what we've been doing so hello come on in you know how we do it we decree and declare i'm gonna help me suitable and then you tell me what you're sipping you tell me what you're sipping i'm yvette benson and i'm gonna help me suitable and i'm sipping water now why am i sipping water some of you know if you were on on sunday were you on on sunday when i did my tip yeah i'm on a fast and i'm gonna embrace it I'm going to embrace my fast because I looked at the review and I was like, ah, oh, ugh, it's not like that. Mm -mm. In fact, I'm going to embrace my water so much, I'm still going to show you what I would be sipping if I wasn't on a fast because I want you all to enjoy sparkling juice moment. So our sparkling juice moment for today, uh, it's holiday time. Why are we so excited about that? Because at holiday time, all the sparkling juices come out. This is sparkling rosé. You better get your sparkling juice on because for the next few weeks, I'm going to be featuring some exciting sparkling juice options. So today, Welch's makes a rosé. You didn't know that? I'm here to show you and to tell you. But I'm not going to open it. Mm -mm. I'm going to save it until after the fast. But I'm Yvette Benton and I'm sipping water. And I'm excited about it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited about it. So I'll bet you all have already seen the title. I'm so glad you're tagging other help me because this is a big one. This is a big one. I'm Yvette Benton and I'm with Jerry Ministries. So excited to be with you. This is our help meet tip time, help meet sip time, help meet time where I give you information from my book, Help for the Help Meet. And we write our notes in our journal, our sips and tips journal. If you don't have the book in the workbook, you need it to be suitable. So you saw the title? I know, I know. So when I do one-on-one -on -one sessions, a lot of times I really, really tap in. What are people saying during their one-on-one -on -one sessions? What are people saying in my mentoring group? And this week, a lot of help meets have been saying, I'm not going to give up, but Sarge, I'm tired. Yvette, I'm tired. Mom, I'm tired. Those are all the things that people call me. Uh, I'm tired. I'm, 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 I'm just, I, I'm tired. Have you ever, you don't have to say it online, but have you ever like, God, this help me stuff. I'm just tired. I don't want to give up, but I'm tired. So what we're going to do is today we're going to remind ourselves, why are we doing what we're doing? That's a big deal. Why are we pushing and praying? And, and being quiet, that's about the hardest one, and doing what we need to do, let's remind ourselves, God asked us to be suitable help me, not our spouse. God asked us to be prepared to be found by our king, not our king. We have to remember what we're doing, we're doing it unto the Lord. We don't do it for the spouse, although let's sip on the fact that <laughs> those kings really benefit when they have a help me that's suitable. You can sip because you're you're worth it. You can sip because you're doing a good job. Mm. But don't get mixed up. Your reason. What's your reason? Your reason is the word of God. Your reason is you want to please God. Your reason is you made a decision. The reason is you read it in the word in Genesis 2 and 18, that even God wanted Adam to have a help me that was suitable. And then you decided, okay, I'm going to do this. 
no matter what's going on, no matter what I do, no matter what's happened in the past, I'm going to do this. And when you decide you're going to do something and you say to God, I'm going to do it, the enemy's going to try to make you tired. He's going to try to make you tired. He's going to make you try to make you give up. And you got to look at the enemy and say, uh, I up right here. <laughs> I'm not giving up. <laughs> I might be tired, but I'm not going down. And if I go down, I'm getting back up. I'm getting back up. So I wanted to share with you out of the book on page 67. On page 67, one of the things in the book, it reminds us to be strengthened, to be creative, and to be a fighter. Woo! I got to say that again. To be helpmates that are suitable. We're strengthened, we're creative, and we're fighters. Whoa! Wait. Wait. Now don't mess up. We're not fighting our spouse. Y'all better sip on that. We're not fighting our spouse. Sip. We're fighters in the spirit. We're fighters because we hold on. We're fighters because we know the word. We're fighters because he called us Deborah's in this season. We're fighters. We're strong. We're creative. Satan's trying to be more creative than us. He's not going to be more creative than us. We're fighters. We're pressers. Yes, we're pressing toward the mark of the high calling. We're not giving up because God said we can do all things through Christ which strengthened us. We're fighters. We got this. We got this. So on page 67, it says God will always strengthen us when we ask for help. According to Psalms 46 and 1, the Holy Spirit is our strength, our present help in a time of trouble. When we're tired, we're basically saying, Lord, I'm in a little trouble here. I'm struggling to be suitable. I'm struggling to hold on. So Psalms 46 and 1, we got to go there for strength. It says, be encouraged in this season and continue to ask Holy Spirit to give you strength to hold on daily. Your marriage is worth saving. Woo! No matter what it looks like right now, your marriage is worth saving. Your marriage is worth preparing for. Your marriage matters to God. Help me. You're stronger than you think. I know you're tired, but God says, don't get weary and well-doing i know that deserves a sip don't get weary and well doing you got this i don't want it to, sometimes at the end of the year sometimes at holiday time the enemy kind of turns up the heat and then we just feel like oh i don't know if i want to don't say it i don't know if i plan to don't say it I don't feel like, don't say it, don't get weary in well doing. Ooh. So the declaration for the day, I will not get weary in well doing. I will not get weary in well doing. You say it. I'm going to say it. We're going to decree it together because together we can strengthen one another. Together we know we're fighters. Together we'll be more creative. I will not get weary in well-doing because my marriage matters. My marriage matters to God. My marriage is important to God. The things that I plan to do in my marriage, through my marriage, in God, it's important to the kingdom. So you got this. We will not get weary in well-doing. I know it looks hard. It looks difficult. I know it, it feels difficult, but we got this. The word of God tells us we can do all things. So that was my tip for the day. You will not get weary. I'm declaring that over you. You declare it over yourself. Then you sip. I'll declare it over you. Then we sip together. We're fighters. I know sometimes you get tired, but tonight we're recommitting ourselves. Tonight we're going back and saying, give me the fire, God. Put some fire in my prayers. Put some fire in my mouth. Put some fire in my declarations. I got this because I'm a fighter. I need the fire to be a fighter. I got this. You got this. Your marriage matters. So thanks for joining me. We sip.
even when it's water. Now you gotta go get your sparkling juice. Well, I'm suggesting rosé today. If you're on a fast, have your water. Whatever you need to do to get your sip on. But this is the tip. I know you get tired. I know it seems difficult. I know you get a little weary, but you know what? Don't get weary and well doing. God's got your back. I've got your back. Your sisters have your back. Other helpmates have your back. You got this. Your marriage is worth fighting for. So don't give up. Don't get weary. Even when you're tired, keep pressing toward the mark. What's the mark? The marriage God promised you. Ooh, what's the mark? The marriage God said you would have. What's the mark? Being a helpmate that is suitable, according to Genesis 2 and 18. Well, that was the tip for the day. Don't forget to get your book and workbook. If you're going to be suitable, you need the help. Can't be a helpmate without help. So go to our website, GeraldAnyVet.com. GeraldAnyVet.com. There's information. There's webinars, resources. Get what you need to get stronger. Get what you need so you don't give up. Get what you need so you don't get weary and well-doing. There's also information about my mentoring group, the Help Me Army. We get discipline. We learn spiritual warfare. We operate as help me that are suitable. We do what we have to do to hold on. In fact, in just a few minutes, we'll be doing midnight prayer because we got to push, we got to press, we got to enter into the spirit realm to know our authority so we do not get tired. We're going to be help me that are suitable no matter what. We got this. I won't get weary and well-doing, and I'm declaring you won't get weary and well-doing. I'm Yvette Benson of Gerald and Yvette Ministries. Gerald and Yvette dot com. It's on the screen. My mentees always hook me up. Thank you. Gerald and Yvette dot com. I'll see you soon. Sunday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Meet me back here. Now while I'm on the fast, y'all gonna meet me on the stairs because I'm not going. I'm not going all the way down there where the, where the sparkling juice is gonna tempt me because I got a whole whole cabinet of it. We won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. I'm going to drink my water and I'm going to be good. You get your sip. Meet me back here. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. And we'll have another tip for you from my book, Help for the Help Me. I'll see you soon. And for my mentees, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to do some things in the spirit realm. See you soon.